Hi, this is Scott with 4D Tech. Today we are in a 2017 and newer body style Super Duty that came equipped with a 4.2 inch screen. We'll be upgrading this vehicle using the 4D Tech 4 to 8 inch upgrade with Sync 3. We'll need a few basic tools to perform this upgrade. A socket wrench with a 7 millimeter socket. A 7 millimeter nut driver. And some plastic dash removal tools. The dash removal tools and the 7 millimeter nut driver are available on our website for your convenience. Let's get started. First, we need to remove this top tray above the dash bezel to gain access to the dash bezel and also for placement of our SYNC 3 antenna. This vehicle came equipped with a center channel speaker that we'll have to remove the grill for to reveal the two 7 millimeter screws. If your vehicle doesn't have the speaker, then you'll just pull the tray liner out and the 7 millimeter screws will be back there. To remove the speaker grill, we just gotta get underneath the edge of it with our dash removal tool. And pop the clips out and work our way around. Next, we need to remove the two 7 millimeter screws on each side of the speaker. As I say, if you just have a tray liner in there, then the two 7 millimeter screws will be under the tray liner. With the two screws removed, next we need to unsnap this tray. And we can start by getting our hand on the front of it to pull up and work our way around with the dash removal tool. With the tray loose, if the speaker is, if it's equipped with the speaker, you just need to disconnect that by pushing on the tab that you see here at my thumb and unplugging it. You'll need to keep in mind anything that you unplugged during this process so that you remember to plug it back in during reassembly. Next, there are two 7 millimeter screws at the top of this dash bezel that need to come out. With those two screws out, we just need to unsnap this dash bezel and unsnaps down to the bottom edge of the heater controls. We'll take one of our dash removal tools and work our way around to release it while you pull on the top edge here. There will be four connectors that need to be disconnected. These two up top and the two down below here. The two up top will have a little tab where my finger is that you push in and then unplug. This one works the same way. There's a little tab at the other edge. Push that and pull the connector out. And you can see the tab right there. These connectors down here have a tab on the bottom side of them. and you push, squeeze that tab with your finger and unplug the connector. Same thing here, there's a little tab on the bottom there, on the bottom edge of the connector, squeeze that and unplug the connector. And since we'll be replacing this dash panel with the eight inch version, we're gonna set this out of the way as we don't need it anymore.
Now we need to remove the unneeded parts, which is the four inch screen and the sink one brain behind it. To do that, we take out these six seven millimeter screws. First we'll pull the screen forward, flip it around. In order to unplug the screen, it's got this little lock here that will push in with our finger and a lever that we pull towards us. And that pushes the connector out. We'll pull the sink brain out. And we need to unplug this USB cable. This one is not reused. We have a different one that's going in the vehicle. Just keep that in mind. Squeeze the clip and unplug it from the box. This connector works the same as the last. You push in the little lock there, pull the lever towards you, and that unplugs as well. We will need to gain access behind the ACM, which is this unit here. So we're gonna take those four screws out now. Next, we'll need to remove this USB plate down here and disconnect it because the SYNC 3 Media Hub will be going in its place. So we'll take our small dash tool and we gotta get in between the edge and the dash and pry out. And it's a good idea to put your fingers kind of down in here and help it through also. Once that's popped out, on the back side here, you pry these two clips out of the way, and that'll unplug this cable. This cable is not being reused with the SYNC 3 system, so we'll just tuck it back in the opening. Next, we need to put in the four to eight inch conversion harness from 4D Tech. This plugs into a few sets of connectors and tees in to make the conversion. And we'll show you how. This is the conversion harness here. We'll start by finding that big 54 pin connector that was in here and slide it into this connector here and you push it in until the lever starts to move and then move the lever the rest of the way to lock it in and then we can tuck that back in the opening here. This T harness that has the couple little orange wires in it is going to tee in behind the ACM. And then this connector here goes down to the hub opening hole to give the hub power. While we're doing that, we're also going to get out our new USB cable. This USB cable will get run from the opening where the SYNC 3 is gonna go down to the hub opening. And these connectors are the same on each end, so it's a bi-directional cable. It doesn't matter which end you put in which direction, so you don't need to worry about that. So we're gonna take the ACM and slide it out a little so we can gain access behind it. And we'll first take the two cables for the hub and run it down, run them down to the hub opening. There's a metal brace back here that the ACM goes up against. So you're gonna to wanna to run these cables behind that metal brace. 
So we'll shove that down and we'll reach through the hub opening to pick them up. And then before we connect the harness to the ACM, we'll want to put that behind the brace and come up from the bottom of the ACM as well. This harness tees in to this connector here. So, to disconnect this connector, you push on the tab on the top and unplug it. We'll plug our T-harness in. And then plug this connector into this side of the T-harness. Now that we have our wires run down to our hub opening and teed into the ACM, we'll slide the ACM back in the opening. This next T harness here will T into this front control panel when we, when we put it back on. So what we'll do is we'll bring it through that same opening where those cables are. Plug the connector that plugged into the front panel into the T harness. And now these two connectors are ready to connect to that panel up there. Next, we need to install the SYNC 3 GPS antenna. Take the antenna here. And it's very simple in this truck. Up in front of this compartment here, there's this black plastic module. And we're gonna put it right on the edge of that module just forward of this panel. We include some alcohol prep wipes and a piece of double-sided tape to do this. So we'll wipe the back of the antenna We'll wipe the top of that plastic on the module. Take the double-sided adhesive. Stick it on the antenna. Peel the back side off, and we'll put it up on the edge of that module. With the GPS antenna there, there's just plastic above it, so it will receive the signals just fine through it. And then we'll just lay this cable in with the factory cables and bring it out the SYNC 3 opening. Next, we're gonna install the media hub down in the opening. This is the SYNC 3 compatible media hub. Um, it also supports the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You plug in the power connector like that. The USB cable that we ran earlier and push it into the opening with the symbols up till it snaps. If your truck is equipped with a backup camera that showed up on the four inch display when you put it in reverse, we've included this cable here in the kit. So you're gonna to wanna to find the connector that plugged into your 
four inch screen, plug it into this connector, push it into the lever starts to move, move the lever the rest of the way. And then the main conversion harness that we just installed has this yellow connector. We'll take the little cap off and plug it in. And now that patches the camera through that showed up on the four inch screen and it'll know, now show up on the Sync 3 screen. Now that we have all our parts in for this, we just need to install the Sync 3 screen and APIM with the brackets. This all comes together as one unit from us. The brackets will already be installed. Screen cable will be there. API M will be on the back. We'll take this main 54 pin connector that is on our conversion harness and plug it into the unit with the lever facing out and push it in until the lever starts to move push the lever till it locks and make sure that's fully seated. Now this connector is actually the same as the one we plugged into the other end that we pulled out of that black brain, but they're wired differently. So do not directly connect it thinking you don't need the harness. You do need to use the conversion harness. Next, we need to find the USB cable that we ran down to the hub and plug it into the black port and push it until it clicks. And then the GPS antenna that we ran, there is a clip on it and you want to have it clip facing down and plug it into this connector right there till it clicks. And you can swing that down around. Now we'll just put the Sync 3 screen in place where we took the other unit out earlier. And we'll replace the six screws that were taken out here and at the same time we'll put the four screws back in the ACM. With all the screws back in place, we are now going to take the 8 inch front control bezel supplied by 4D Tech in the kit and install that in the place of the old bezel. We need to reconnect these connectors here with the clip facing down, just slide it in until it clips. This connector here is slightly different than the one we unplugged that's included with the T-harness and that has what's called a cam lock like some of the other connectors with this lever. So make sure the lever is all the way open. and push that into the opening. Push that in till the lever starts to move. There we go. And you'll have to push it in kind of a hard click and the lever will start to move and lock it the rest of the way. And we'll shove this connector back in the opening there. These connectors here need to get reconnected. The little clip faces away from us towards the dash. Plug the one that's got the little gray tape on it into the gray connector, the other one into the black connector. Now that we have everything reconnected, we'll shove the other connector, that T-harness, back in that hole so it's out of the way and the panel will go on properly. And then we just press this dash panel back in place. Also know all our panels ship with heated seat controls on them. If you do not have heated seats, these buttons are easily swapped from the other panel and we'll have a separate video to show you how to do that. If you don't want to change those buttons, it's no harm in leaving them even if you have heated seats. Next we need to put these two screws back in up here. Also, if you had the full center console in your truck instead of the bench seat, 
um, the console that goes all the way up here. The hub is in the console instead. It's a slightly different size. The procedure is the exact same and we ship you the different size hub. Last, we need to put this panel back up here that had the speaker in it. So we'll take our connector, plug it back into the speaker if your truck is equipped. Set this tray back in place, snap down the front edge, and we'll replace the screws up by the speaker. With the screws back in place, we'll just replace our speaker grill by putting it back in place and just snapping it down. Next, we need to run the 4D Tech Can Opener Flash Programmer in the vehicle's diagnostic port to program the vehicle to accept the 4 inch to 8 inch conversion kit. Be sure to plug in the conversion pigtail on the can opener flash in order to perform this function. First, we need to turn the ignition on or have the truck running. And we'll plug in the programmer into the diagnostic port and watch the lights on the programmer. The lights will blink blue while it is programming to let you know that it's running the program. And it will reset the audio control module a couple times during this programming. Once it is programmed, the light will turn green to let you know that it is complete. You can then unplug the programmer from the diagnostic port as it no longer needs to be plugged in. Now that we have the 4 to 8 SYNC 3 conversion kit installed, we'll turn on the truck. Give it a moment to load up the first time. And now we have SYNC 3 functioning in this truck in place of the original 4.2 inch screen. And the SYNC 3 system that we installed includes navigation as well. This procedure is exactly the same for the non-NAV SYNC 3 unit, um, including you do still need to install the GPS antenna because it is used for 911 assist and the, uh, and the compass and setting the clock. So now you see how simple it is to install the 4D Tech 4 to 8 inch conversion for SYNC 3. I'm Scott with 4D Tech. Thank you for checking out my video.